Okay, if we look at exploring reflections in the X and Y axis, here I have a shape and of course all the, uh, the points are movable. Alright, that's my original shape here in red. If I want to reflect it in the Y axis, that's the vertical axis, it comes over here. Now notice it's the same as just a general line. From C, I have to draw a straight line hit the y-axis at a right angle and come across the same distance. Now it's easy to do on a grid because an x-axis and the grid lines automatically form those right angles. All right, But let's, let's look at this point D. What happens to the x-y values of a point when it's reflected in the y-axis? Well it started out being negative 6 1, and it ended up being positive 6, negative 1. So the x value changed signs, and the y value stayed the same. Well, let's just move that point D around. D was negative 2, 1. Now it is the opposite of the x value, positive 2, and 1 stayed the same. Let's move it to the other side. Remember the original was the red, so now D is 3, 1. And over here the image is at negative 3 for the X, still at 1. Often let's reflect it in the X axis. Bring my D value back up here. Now I'm reflecting in the X axis. That's the horizontal axis. It was negative 5, 1. It becomes negative 5, negative 1. So now the x value is staying the same and the y value is changing to the opposite sign. Here the original is positive 4, negative 2. The x value is staying the same and the y value is changing to the opposite side. Okay, what we're going to do is look at this uh, original object in red and reflect it through this purple line. All right, so uh, what I want to do is pick this particular line, which is the line y equals x. Notice it goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, etc. And so if we reflect it through there, basically you have to go from the points on the original to the reflection line at a right angle and for this line you can kind of go along the diagonals of each of the grid markings so from D to the line it's one diagonal, two diagonal, two and a half diagonals going out the other side one and a half, another one, another one so that's two and a half diagonals out the other side. Showing that we see that the distance from D to the line hitting it at a right angle is 3.54 and the same distance out the other side for the image. Alright, so if I move my original points, my image points also move. Now we want to explore what happens to this point which is reflective of all the points. The original point was D equals negative 3 comma 1. Notice the image D prime is just the reversal of those two. The Y position becomes the X, the X position becomes the Y. So D prime is 1 negative 3. Let's see if that holds when we go into a different quadrant. Here D is negative 5, negative 2. D prime is negative 2, negative 5. The X and Y switch positions. 